Well, uh, what I want to do today is show you how to find the midpoint between two coordinate points. So before I go into coordinate points, I really want to do a quick kind of overview of what the midpoint really is. And rather than look at coordinate points, let's just look at two points on the number line. So let's pretend I have a number line. All right, well, let's not pretend. I have a number line, right? There is one right here. And let's just uh, have this be zero. Let's do one, two, three, four. Now, let's say I have a point at one and I have a point at four. And let's say I wanted to find, you know, what is the midpoint? What is the middle of between those two points? So to do that, you know, what we could do is you could say, well, to get to one, two, three, it takes me three times um, to go from one to four. So to find the middle, what we can do is, you know, sometimes say like find the average right in that middle point, right? So what I can do is I, I can write one plus four and then divide by two. So one plus four is five divided by two, which equals 2.5. So on this point, I don't even know what I'm doing now. I have midpoint is between two and three at 2.5. So that's the middle. So what you notice is to find the midpoint, I can add up the two values and divide it by two, kind of finding the central tendency to the average of those two points. Well, now I have coordinate points. And remember, a coordinate point is going to be on a coordinate plane, meaning you're going to have an x value and a y value. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to find the midpoint of the x value, and then also we're going to have to find the midpoint of the y values. And doing that together, we'll find the midpoint of our coordinate points. So for this problem, we need to determine what are our x values and what are our y values. Well, remember, a coordinate point comes in x, y, and x, y. And what we talked about in, with the distance form is a way to distinguish between x1 and y1 um, and, or, I'm sorry, the way to distinguish between the x values and the y values of your coordinate point, well, what we need to do is we need to use subscripts. So I don't always know when I say the x, if I say the x coordinate, you could say, well, which x coordinate are you talking about? So that's why I'm going to use a little subscript to um, distinguish between the two x coordinates. So now, if I want to find the midpoint, the midpoint is a coordinate point, all right? It's a coordinate point that's between the two points. So that means I need to find the average or that midpoint of your x values and your y values. So I'm going to write up what the formula looks like. And it looks something like this. x1 plus x2, just like I did here, divide by 2. Comma, y1 plus y2, divide by 2. So therefore you can see what I've done now is I pretty much did this for a linear, but I... I pretty much did the exact same thing here, but now I did it for both um, values, the x coordinates and the y coordinates. So now all I need to do is just plug in my values. So m is the midpoint, m equals, as midpoint, negative one, and please make sure you put in parentheses just when you're adding them up, just so you don't confuse with your signs. Negative one plus a negative four, all divided by two, comma, six plus negative 2 divided by 2. And the reason why I say always put in your parentheses is I work with students all the time that I always forget those parentheses and that's a lot of time where mistakes come from. So now let's just do the math. Negative 1 plus negative 4 is a negative 5 divided by 2. Comma, 6 plus negative 4 is 4 divided by 2. And we can just leave it in your fraction. Obviously, this can be reduced. But what we'll do is um, we can write it in decimal as decimals, or you can leave this as a fraction. But as a decimal, this is negative 2.5. And of course, 4 divided by 2 reduces to 2. So uh, there you go. Hope you, and that's what the midpoint equals. So there you go. Hope it helps. Thanks.